when I heard the rumors that 343 was going to showcase Halo 6, I thought to myself, holy crap, it's going to be Halo 4 and 5 all over again. But then at E3 2018, they slapped us with this trailer that I have no idea how to describe. And in all fairness, it actually looked pretty freaking good and felt like a Halo game. After 343 revealed Halo Infinite to the world at E3 in 2018, we got no info whatsoever for an entire year straight. And then finally, one year later, exactly at E3 2019, we would get yet another look into this game. During this trailer, we were shown this guy who clearly is missing his family. It can grow a beard quicker than I can make this video. And then we got another look at Master Chef rocking his new classic Halo inspired armor. And then a somewhat glimpse into the future of Halo Infinite storyline. I chose you because you were special. I knew we would be perfect together. And I was right. I was thinking to myself, wow, this actually looks pretty good. I'm going to jump on this hype train. But what I didn't know is that a few years down the road, 3 for 3 would take that train and derail it and then shoot it straight into my hopes and dreams. We come up on E3 of the year 2020, and uh, we hear that E3 is being canceled this year due to unforeseen events. So Microsoft was like, here, take my beer. We're going to have an exclusives event, and we're going to show Halo gameplay and Boy, let me tell you, I wasn't prepared for that one. 3 for 3 was really packing the heat on this event because they started off, the very first thing we saw during this event was a Halo Infinite trailer that at first I could have swore nobody would know that it was Halo until you saw the armor. And to be fair, it was actually a pretty good trailer. It kind of got you hyped up. And then they delivered the goods. <laughs> Three for three delivered this absolute horse crap gameplay that had the N64 graphics and uh, Minecraft looking Halo ring. Don't even get me started on the brute animations. Oof, good lord for that one. After 343 showed the might of Halo Infinite at this event, the world blew up quite quick actually. We had memes blowing up all of a sudden, and then this guy became a social sensation. He even named him Craig. So after that event, 343 was finally like, holy crap, what have we done? So they uh, delayed the game without a release date. And then to add a cherry on a crap Sunday, 3 for 3 goes ahead and drops this post. And let me just say, what the freaking crap is this? So no longer can I customize my primary and secondary colors to whatever I like. So I can't make my guy look like a Bumblebee or Barney anymore. But now I'm stuck with this Destiny shader looking crap that they now call coatings. And apparently they charge $5 a pop for these guys. Woo wee! They're gonna make tons on that. Just a few weeks later, studio head Chris Lee, who's been with the company since its inception back in 2008, just up, up and leaves the studio and then says he's looking for future opportunities. <laughs> that to me is gold. And if you are feeling real confident about how this game is going to turn out, would you really just get up and leave right before it's even published? You see, now in my book, this is something that I would call development hell. And I'm not sure that the Doom Slayer is going to be able to get Halo out of this one. But in all honesty, though, I, I, I can cut them some slack as far as the delays that this year has caused. You know, it's been tough. But, uh, this crap, what the 